Hello, Star Wars Unboxing fans. Welcome to an on-the-road edition of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. Carefully navigating some my driveway as we have just gotten hit with what was supposed to be a dusting to a few inches of snow, which ended up being a foot. <laughs> That's That does not always happen, I will say. So, um, Anyway, ooh activity going on here um i am i am here to take a day take a trip we've done this before we are going to be heading out to the woodbridge toy show this is a small event that takes place sorry for the <laughs> crazy uh negative space in my video but this is where my my phone is uh, kind of settled right now that is uh the toy show takes place once a month in a Hampton Inn in Woodbridge, New Jersey. And uh, there's usually a lot of vendors there, so I've decided to um, take a ride over there. I usually only take a walk through, uh, maybe show you some of the vendor tables, see what's going on. Don't know if I'm gonna be picking stuff up. I've been doing a lot of cleaning out in my videos if you've, if you've been watching. I've been cleaning up, straightening up, putting stuff in the sale box. I know it seems so crazy that, you know, my, my, my Star Wars yard sale isn't gonna happen until the end of June. But the thing is that it's it's a big amount, it's a, it's a large amount of work to, you know, to gather all the material, gather all the, you know, gather all of the product that you wanna, or the stuff that you wanna sell, price it fairly and, you know, box it up and store it somewhere while you wait for June to happen. And I have some busy stuff. My day job keeps me busy certain times of year. So there's going to be times where I won't have a chance to do that. And I'm actually trying to, that's one of the reasons why I try to um, pre-record a bunch of videos. So during my busier times, I can just have them all preset to unload to, you know, to drop on YouTube on Wednesdays and Sundays, just so everyone's aware. So hit the notification button if you want to know when my videos drop. So we're going to go check it out in a little while and uh, see what they have. I'm not really looking for anything specific. I mean, uh, you know, I have a, I've been kind of a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say selective in my collecting. I've uh, pretty much canceled all of my black series uh, orders. Um, I'm kind of getting away from that and uh, I'm really not into Funko Pops anymore. I mean, the occasional one will pop in there. Huh, pardon the pun. And uh, there might be something interesting. But generally speaking, uh, my, my uh, you know, I've, I've done all my pre-orders on Vintage Collection. And I've done, uh, you know, if anybody's selling some custom items, you know, maybe some more artistic pieces, that might be something I'd be interested in. But beyond that, it's really just to see what's, what's out there, what people are selling, what people are asking for. Um, especially for like vintage. And sometimes I find, you know, there are people that have some vintage old 80s and 90s, 70s and 80s figures, loose and baggies, you know. Occasionally I'll pick up one or two of those if they're not too expensive uh, and see what they have. Now, sometimes I get like a, you know, if I see a, or, you know, a figure of a certain type or play set or vehicle that um, is in good shape, I might consider doing something with it. But Generally speaking, you know, I've, I've pretty much completed my vintage collection. My, I'm talking about my original vintage collection of toys, figures, mini rigs, um, all that stuff that came out in the 70s and 80s. Um, a couple of the droids, Ewoks figures I've been still looking for. But again, some of these dealers, off the, the prices that they are asking are just astronomical, you know. So I just don't bother with it. But it is still nice to go once in a while. I also want to talk to some of the vendors which I'll do off camera and just kind of see what we have with regards to, um, you know, how they set up for a event. Because I'm thinking about actually doing a vendor table, which I might do. Um, it's hard for me to do. I have another job on Sunday, so it's hard for me to, to take off to do that. But, you know, maybe in the summer, if when, I'm not, when I'm not working that other job, maybe I can figure out a time to do that too. See what happens after my, my Star Wars sale at my home and then put a few things out in some bins and go and do this. At a, at a place because it seems pretty I mean that some people it's amazing what vendors will set up I mean they, they will literally set up a, a an entire store in a little tiny two or three table lit with area with racks and you know hanging you know pegs and everything like it's, it's if you're going into a comic book store you know so 
I don't have anything. I would just want to set up a simple table with a couple, maybe a handful of shelves, that kind of thing. But we'll see what they have. So anyway, as we're moving right along here, the only other thing I wanted to share was that, uh, you know, this it's, it's we're, we're kind of at a quiet time right now in Star Wars. I mean, I know that bad at the time of this recording, Bad Batch will be coming out in a couple of days. I'm looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, everything else is just kind of down the road, you know, so we'll see what happens. But, all right. So let's, uh, you know, I'm excited. I like the comp times, you know. I like being able to tinker with the collection, and clean it, and fix it, and get rid of some stuff, you know, put some stuff in the cell pile, and, uh, you know, rearrange, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know, rearrange some of those shelves. I mean, that's the fun part about collecting to me. Is, you know, and, and I've been really into watching other people's collections. I cannot do what a lot of people have been doing. I mean, they, they, there, there are some collections out there. The, the displayability talents, the display talents that I've seen from people is just incredible. You know, and I, and I just don't have the the budget or the time or the elect, electrical, you know, setup in my basement to do that. So we'll have to wait and see how that all goes. So anyway going to get us over there in a little while and we'll see what the vendors have going on.
Okay, so before I get going, I'll do a quick follow-up. Sorry if it was a bumpy video. I was trying to be, you know, I try not to film any faces. So a lot of times I'd have to quickly jerk it around. <laughs> so, anywho, we had, uh, I wasn't planning on buying too much, but I did find a couple items. And, you know, like I said, since I'm in, since I'm in the situation where I'm really trying to thin out the collection, if I buy anything, in a way, it's either, I have two goals for buying stuff. If I um, want to uh, maybe turn it around, okay? Meaning maybe I'll put it in the sale later, which I don't do too much of that, honestly. Uh, I have so much already that I can sell. So that would be the first thing. And the other thing is uh, if I feel like I can use a few extra items to put on display. Uh, and uh, so there, there was a couple of things I found and I, I'm kind of sticking to vintage or retro uh, for the most part most of the, there were some items and sometimes what I'll do is I'll see something that was on my, I pre-ordered and I'll see it that it's offered for the same price or close to or maybe even less then I'll go onto my site of whatever store or online place I purchased and cancel the order if it hasn't already shipped and then I'll do it so and then I'll buy it but I didn't do that today I didn't feel like doing that much research <laughs> so I just wanted to walk around and kind of check things out. As far as artistic pieces, there really wasn't anything there. There weren't any custom jobs or sometimes people, a guy will come and set up a bunch of custom Lego minifigs, you know, that type of thing. There wasn't anything like that. But uh, anyway, so what I did pick up was, and, and you know, if you see prices on here, they were not the prices I paid. I pretty much negotiated a, a um, I negotiated a, you know, bulk item price. First we have our R2-D2. You know, vintage R2. And yeah, I, I, I was telling the seller that, and it, I did not pay $12 for it, um, but I was telling the seller that uh, I saw, I have this affinity for figures like the, like droid figures, like R5-D4 or R2-D2, that are all banged up, meaning they're, you know, they're all distressed. Either with the idea that maybe I'll clean them up and, you know, do a rest restoration on them, or just kind of put them out there as distressed. I don't know, I just like them. I just, I know they were played with, I guess that's why. Um, then we have, of course, Luke, Luke, uh, X-Wing fighter Luke. None of these have parts or, or they're all incomplete. And you know, that's the only way you're going to get these for like single digit numbers or, you know, maybe just five, 10 bucks or whatever. Uh, then we have, uh, we have this one. We have, of course, a stormtrooper, pretty decent one actually. All right. And lastly, we have, um, it looks like it's been repainted. Uh, we have a, we have an indoor, indoor, Hoth, soldier, indoor, where'd that come from? Um, and that was about what I was going to walk away with until I ran into a guy that was selling off, uh, the droid factory, which, um, I don't know. I've been learning a lot about, I mean, I already own this. Okay. So, uh, will I, you know, sometimes if you look back on my channel, I sometimes do a customization of a toy. Like I, I got an Imperial attack base and I kind of painted it gray to make it a Mim Bam attack base, you know, like, you know, from, from solo. Um, but this one, I don't know. I just, I, this one is less about trying to redo it. I mean, I, I, the base was nice. It's, it's complete pretty much. It comes with mostly, it doesn't have everything here, but it does come with the crane. But what I really like about this is the fact that it comes with most, a lot of the droid parts. It doesn't come with all of them. He said, he said R2 is not in there. It's okay. I already own an R2, um, that came from with this set, but, it, but I love all the other droid pieces. So it just, and he said it actually comes with some extras. So it's a whole, there's bags and bags of them. So I just want to kind of put it together and see maybe if it's mostly together, if it's, if, there's, if it's mostly intact, I might see about finding the pieces from other sets to create a full one. And then maybe I'll flip it. I'll sell it in a, um, you know, sell it in a, uh, in my Star Wars sale or just use it as a, as a fun display piece for a bunch of droids. You know, like do something like that, put some Jawas and Joys in there. So um, all in all, successful, but it was really more of a fact-finding mission. As I mentioned, I, I wanted to talk to um, the uh, some of the other vendors and, you know, strike up a good conversation. And I do find, you know, when you're trying to get, out, get information, you know, you gotta kind of read the room. Some people are pretty much only interested in, um, you know, they're only interested in doing uh you know getting making the sale and that's it you know but if you find some guys or girls that are uh you know they, they like the conversation like i do it's like selling when i sell my 
you know, do my Star Wars sales. I'm more, in, I'm great if I make a little money, but it's nice to have the conversations, you know, and hear the stories and what moves people and what inspires people. And it's great. So when you get those kind of, con when you find it, you know, stumble across a conversation like that with people, those are good people to ask, like, how do you do this? Like, what do you do? How does it work? What time do you get here? Just a little logistics, you know? And he was a guy, was one guy had a really, guy I bought the figures from, he had a really, really good um, set of, you know, advice and what to do. So, a successful day. Um, sorry if the video is a little bumpy. Check your local listings. There are um, a lot of places that will have local toy shows. This was not very big. I don't like it very big, you know. Believe me, you know, Comic-Cons are great and they're fun, but they're so overwhelming. And if you're not the kind of person who likes to, who loves crowds, it's hard. And even here, there was a lot of congestion from time to time. But it's a small space and you can just turn around and go in the other direction and you're fine. So, I just can't get over the amount of Funko Pops that are out there. That is crazy. I guess it's just people that are really into that. It's like it's a type of currency. Who knows? Anyway, so, hope you enjoyed that. We will be continuing to clean and straighten and get things pulled out of the collection to be put into this, to the upcoming sale in June. Uh, for future episodes. Plus, I got a few items that'll be coming in the mail. I'll do some unboxing with. Yes, we are still an unboxing show. We will still unbox. Don't worry, they're coming. Thank you so much for watching. Check us all. Check us out on Instagram and X, Darth Super Stars Unboxing page on Facebook. Check out all the content on Red Five Network. Thank you, Red Five, for always plugging the channel. See you in the next video. Until next time, may the force and the toys be with you.